Carly, leader. Uh, Wednesday night uh, saw the broadcasting on RT1 of the groundbreaking documentary film uh, On Quiet Graves, the story of the Glen Ann Gang, a film uh, by Sean Murray um, that features much of the Trojan uh, research uh, uncovered by uh, Anne Cal Wilder in her book. Uh, Lethal Allies and Margaret Irwin, who will be familiar to many uh, members of this House, uh, in her book, uh, A State in Denial. Uh, between 1972 and 1978, more than 120 people uh, were killed by the notorious group known uh, as the Glen Ann Gang. The film in question, and I would commend uh, the film, I'm sure, uh, I, know, I know many members are familiar uh, with this uh, issue and will have watched uh, the uh, film, but it is available uh, on the RTE player and other uh, outlets online. And I would really encourage uh, uh, all members and anyone certainly following uh, these debates uh, to uh, watch a copy of it. But the film unravels uh, the British state collusion at the heart of the sectarian campaign uh, and high members of the RUC the UDR and the British Intelligence Services collaborated with uh, that gang. And like many uh, campaigning families uh, in the North, tragically having already uh, lost, been hurt uh, and un undergone such uh, a trauma, uh, the families uh, involved in the Glen Ann uh, murders had to find themselves in court in order to do what? Simply to ensure uh, that the police, that the state would respond with the most uh, basic entitlement that those families should have, a proper, full, effective police investigation into the murder of, of their loved ones. And that has been denied to them and so many others uh, for so long. The Lord Chief Justice in the North said police uh, had not honoured the legitimate expectation of bereaved relatives that an overarching investigation into the Glen Ann gang uh, would be held. The Glen Ann gang, uh, as members will know, uh, were responsible for some of the most notorious incidents uh, in the conflict, uh, including the massacre of the Miami Shoe Band and, indeed, the Dublin and Monaghan bombings, which led to the single biggest loss of life uh, in the course of the conflict. So, in uh, asking members uh, to uh, reflect on that, uh, Cahir Luck and Leader, uh, I simply want to call and remind members that another uh, international obligation and agreement by the British Government, the Stormont House Agreement, which we passed all the legislation relevant uh, to this jurisdiction in the Shannon last year, uh, remains unfulfilled. In fact, it's very worrying uh, that the British Government are reneging uh, completely uh, on that uh, commitment and in so doing are denying families like the Glen Ann families uh, the most basic entitlement and right to access truth and justice for their loved ones. Thank you, Senator Lambert.